Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to a FIFA 19 trading from scratch video. We're in episode 8 I do believe and finally we have reached a pretty big milestone to be honest. One quarter of a million coins. So by the end of this episode we will in fact have over 250k in our club on the trading from scratch account. Now if you guys do enjoy it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. Let's see if you can hit 1000 likes and of course if you are new to the channel as well then make sure to subscribe. Now I'm not going to lie a lot of the sniping filters that we explore in this video no longer actually effective. Um, the final player that we do actually go after is actually Sergio Roberto. Now he's even better now than he was at the time of recording. He's around 10,000 coins of course the 84 rated right back from Barcelona so if you guys are looking for a good player to snipe He's definitely one to consider. But anyway, we'll go straight into these sniping clips. Of course, as I did mention, smash the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I will catch you guys next time. 225k, I literally uploaded the video the other day. So this is what we're going to be starting out on to begin a new episode. Sniping some informs last time. I know we've got the team, the group stage cards now. If we can get some sniping filters set up for that, then that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, maybe just do like... Some high rated cards that are required for SBCs or something. We'll have to see which sniping filters are active right now. Like honestly, Riggers, have you done a video on these sniping filters, mate? You probably should. This would be a good video for your channel. Hey, I thought I was quick on that, you know. And I saw that it said the, the one day mark. Normally we say the one hour mark, but that was definitely listed up for one day. Wow. I'm hoping this sniping filter... How long's, how long's the SBC around for, guys? Is this going to be a very good sniping filter for, like, the remainder of the time that it's available? What, like, any Spanish defenders? Like, any Spanish gold defenders at all, mate, or what? Oh, we got one. Or are you just talking about Premier League Spanish defenders? Like, I need a bit of context to that. Just list them up at 5k, right, guys? That's how much these cards are selling for, so... Might have to be worth trying to bid on a few of these as well. Go ahead and compare his price just for uh, the video to show people that. The current price of these cards is, in fact, 5,000 coins. And that's only been in the market for like 40 seconds as well. Pretty crazy, man. It's a shame that it's not around for too long. In the genuine top flight competition for Santos, he managed to score 34 goals in 84 games. Yeah, but you need to compare it to other people of that generation as well, Riggers, where they probably also had inflated stat due to, like, unofficial games. It's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. Oh, actually, could Lennon have gone for more? I'm not sure if I'd seen Aaron Lennon. Nah, he probably is just around 5k as well. I wonder if, like, certain players on this sniping field do actually sell for more coins than others. We'll have to check that out. Of course, go ahead and miss these big ones, don't I? I keep getting them at around 4k. Then as soon as one comes up like 550 coins, which is what their price was before, like this SBC, I go ahead and miss them. See, I didn't even see that wall cut then on the one hour mark. I still managed to get him for 1,000 coins under. What's that after tax, guys? It's only 5% in it, so it's at least 500 coins. Still a pretty decent pickup, to be fair. Considering how active the sniping filter is as well. It's so annoying that every single one of these that we see at a good price though. I'm not able to pick them up. Must be crazy competition on like the really cheap ones, you know. Messi scored the most goals against Prem clubs in the Champions League. Well, I mean, James Milner obviously would have, but he can't really face them in the group stages, can he? Oh my god! Wait, it mustn't be botted. 450. Okay. I mean, I was quick on that, to be fair. The other ones have sold as well, as you guys can see here. The only problem is, I do think the price of these cards is kind of coming down a little bit. That was a big pickup, lads. I, I lied. He's still 5,000 coins. I don't know whether to undercut a little bit. Because his price has been changing. Now, do you know what? We'll just do 5k again. Andros Townsend for 450 coins. That's a big pickup right there, lads. Pele won three World Cups, Jackster. He didn't win one, he won three. 
But I know people are saying like he wasn't as influential as people make out in the World Cups. Hey, do you know what? He still won three of them. That's the first one that we've actually managed to pick up successfully in a while. Even though the filter's been active, we haven't had one, have, have we, since uh, the 450 coin snipe? Is this filter um, botted? I don't think so, because I did get a Redmond at 450 coins. I just think there's a lot of competition on it. Man, I've not been able to snipe any of these Spanish centre-backs. I assume this is because of the same SBC, right? This is only going to be around for a couple of days as well. This is so active, dude, and I just can't get any of the cards. Point proven. Again, another one. That's not even that good of a snipe. It's only like 800 coins under. Guys, I'm not asked. I'm quick on that. I'm not sure I can be any quicker, to be fair, you know. Was he 3,000 coins, really? Is that how much Victor Ruiz is at the moment? This is mental. I mean, I didn't see that on the one hour mark, so I'm never picking that card up. Chat, we'll go for this for a little bit longer. But I have a feeling this one may be botted. What are we saying? This is the filter. This filter was a lot easier early on. I had no trouble sniping these. I mean, it's obviously, like, impossible to get these cards right now, though, isn't it? Like, Hayden, I can only assume, like, if I would have been doing this exactly the same earlier on, I would not have been having this trouble, right? That probably just goes to show that this is a botted filter. Every single one of these dudes I'm seeing on the one hour mark, but this has got to be botted, man. Why should EA remove the web app? Because that's what people use the, um, the short foots on. Maybe even if they just, like, added the loading screen on web app, made it a little bit more fair, then that wouldn't be too bad. But right now, it's no competition um, sniping on console in comparison to using, like, that bot on the web app. Good start, Rob. Good start. 50k packs are OP. I mean, just no packs are OP for me at the moment. Alright, let's hope that this one is not botted as well. The last one it's got to have been, right? The Spanish centre-backs. There's just no way that I would have missed out on that many opportunities. Lucas Digne? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think Lucas Digne will win player of the month. Again, though, this is active, guys. We just have to wait and see. Like, we'll have to give it a little bit more time. But, um... I've missed two already on this sniping filter. That one we did see on the one-hour mark. So that was the chance right there to get one of these cards. Yeah, I don't believe you, Scott, to be honest, man. That would be an unreal pack if you got best and 88 to Bamyang in one pack, but I can't see that, mate. All right, here we go, Scott. If you've got a picture of it, I'll believe you. But otherwise, man, I just can't, because that's a ridiculous pack. All right, we got our first one on this sniping filter, but it was basically the threshold of what I'm trying to snipe them at. However, all Brighton might be a little bit more expensive. Maybe get like uh, 5.5 for him. It's going, uh, it's going on day, Janu. I don't know. I've, I've just butchered your name and I will have. How you doing today, though, man? All right, nice. Didn't even see that on the one hour marks. There's no chance I was getting Andre Gray there. Wait, no. Damari Gray. My bad. Oh, 3.7. Hey, I wonder if that's the same one. How funny would it be if someone just sniped him for like 450 coins? And I went ahead and list them up for 3.7. That would be crazy. Someone just like instantly flipping these cards. Nah, surely they wouldn't list them up for 3.7k though. Not when he sells for 5.3. Again, like that's another decent pickup there, lads. We're starting to get a little bit of success on this sniping filter now though. Albeit like we're getting the more expensive cards that we see. I need to go check my main club actually to see how many of these... Um, Left mids and right mids that I've got. Do you know what, guys? I honestly thought that was the one. It's been a while since we've seen a player on this field. It's like, it's definitely slowed up. I say. While seeing two and two searches. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. We're still yet to get, like, one of the really cheap cards on this sniping filter. That's what we're saying for Rashford. Someone said 7.5k earlier. But I think he's just the standard price at 53 this one is position changed though. I just list them for 5.3. The end of the day, that's still decent profit. We got him for 4,000 coins, so. After the A tax, still making 
decent coins to be honest. That grey card though guys, like I keep seeing him below 1k and I'm still yet to snipe him. Just get another Rashford though, back to back Rashfords. This one's got Deadeye on him. Is that Deadeye? Marksman, my bad. Again though guys, like, we'll make coins from this. That's why I ain't gonna complain. 5.2, oh is the price dropping slightly? Uh, to be fair, there's not too many of them on the market. Look at that, there's only one Rashford. In fact, Rashford is the cheapest card right now. That's kind of crazy considering, like, he's the highest rated and he's rare as well. It ain't easy, that's for sure. It ain't e oh! Oh my god! I wasn't even paying attention! And we just got one for 750 coins! I don't even feel like I was quick on that! I was checking to see who was live on Twitch on my other monitor. Wow, okay. What price was that again? 750 coins. There it is, boys. That's the one I've been waiting for all day. The Mori Grey. 750 coins. And it was on one where I wasn't even paying too much attention. So that's really ironic. It's definitely not botted then, guys. This is not a botted sniping filter. It's just got competition on it. Um, Just because, like, it's it's very risky right now. To hold on to an icon. What is happening boys? What is happening? I can't stop getting grey now. Damari grey, 400 coins. This is insane. What's going on Jamie? How you doing man? Guys, I'm actually starting to make a lot of coins right now from these snipes. Like after tax, that's like 4,300 coins I think. This is crazy man. I just go show you guys as well. Like, I've already compared the price multiple times, but every single one is sold. Look at that. All the Rashfords, all of the other cards as well. We've currently got one up for 5.3k. This is honestly crazy. I'm making really good coins on this right now, guys. In fact, it's probably like the best stint of sniping that I've had on this account. What are the price of these players? Are they still actually... I don't even know if this SBC is still around, actually, lads. So we're going to go clear all them. I might do some of the marquee matchup sniping for the UCL cards, you know, like Barcelona players, Spurs players, stuff like that. They're probably going to be the best filters right now. I don't think like this one will be bottered, you know, lads, you know, because it's probably um, a little bit more, I don't know how to say it, like a little bit, it fluctuates more. So I don't think this one will be bottered. Yeah, there we go. I really don't think it will be. All right. That is actually fresh as well, interesting. I'm just gonna list them up at, what should I do, 2.7? I'm gonna see quite a few of those lower rated ones as well. The gold's probably selling a little bit quicker, but I feel like 2.7 will be a decent price if I snipe them at 2K. I tried to be a little bit too quick on that last snipe and ended up messing it up. You know what that is right there though, don't you boys? That's the orange line on the 300 coin snipe. That's what that was. Alright, the fact that I got an orange line though, on one of the cheaper ones, is um, fills me with a little bit of optimism. I'll show you how to scroll down in a second. Alright, what you do is, scroll to the left, as you scroll to the left, click Y, and as you can see, it's now going down without me clicking anything. You just click Y and A, Y and A. Simples. I literally have to say that so many times, it's unreal. Okay, didn't even feel like I was that quick on that one. Hey, I'll be honest lads, I didn't feel like I was that quick this time around. And he just got a Zayach. I mean, he's obviously going to sell for at least 2.7. Sorry, wait, 3.7, right? I'll go ahead and check his price now, actually. See if there's any up at 3,000. Yeah, this card could be a little bit more expensive, actually, lads. I'll check on Footbin, and then we'll go ahead and list them all. Oh my god, that was literally back-to-back. -back. And I didn't see that one on the one-hour mark. But it was 350 coins. Hey, we'll make good profit on that one, lads. These silver cards sell for 2.7. Happy days. Do you know because I missed that first one as well? I didn't think that I would get the second one. This is so active. This is crazy. 
Unfortunately though, by the time this comes out as a video, this will probably be a dead sniping filter again. So many cards come up, lads. I just can't snipe them, okay? I could be on a million coins already. English fullbacks are going for 3k. Really toxic gamer. That's the same as English uh, right mids and left mids then. Frankie de Jong. This card is always a little bit more expensive. Frankie. Here he is. Frankie. Same thing. 2.6? What, is the price of these cards dropping now, is it? Don't say that, man. It's not what I want to hear. Come on. Ah, oh, nah. Oh, that's a snipe. Damn it. All right, we'll get a... We'll get 2.8 for him. At least 2.8. Yeah, it's because of uh, marquee matchups. That's the reason these cards are expensive right now. Daily Blind. Ooh, okay. Daily Blind's going to be a little bit more. Definitely one for a uh, foot bin then. Must be like centre-backs are more expensive. Players from different positions must have different price points. I'll list them up at 3.5. The 3k start price as well. Alright, so after EA tax, that's at least like. Yeah, I'd probably say that's about 3,000 coins. No, 2,000 coins. Apologies. Oh, we got Huntelaw. Well, we had the chance to get Huntelaw, but I missed him. Completely forgot that he played for Ajax, to be honest. I'll let you into a little secret about icon sniping. There is never a good time to snipe them. Just because they're that hard to snipe, dude. Like, they really are. This is the first time I've seen this card, actually. I've been listing up silvers for 3.7. Sorry, 2.7? I've confused myself now. Is it 2.7 or 3.7? I think it's 2.7. Um, I right, go on. We'll gamble. I'm not going to check his price. I'm going to list him up at that. Oh. Come on, man. I need to be getting that. 6.3k? That's like 2,000 coins under, dude. Crazy. Alright, first snipe of the day. It's an opportunity that we miss. It's kind of frustrating to be fair. That would have been a decent pickup as well. Shows me that there is actually a bit of competition on this filter. Do you know, like your internet cash. I was about to say I was fast on that one. So these are coming out of packs and people are instantly listing them up like at a decent price to be fair. That's what you like to see on the sniping filter. Can I get 7.8 for him? Realistically, like, I think he will be around this price, so I'm going to list him up at 7.8. I know I could do 7.5 for an instant sale, but I'd rather get my money's worth. Yeah, let's do 7.8 then. 7.5 start price. We'll still make some pretty some profit on that. And obviously, made some good coins from these IX cards yesterday. Going to clear them off the transfer list. Time to move over to some Barcelona sniping filters. Who did I get in my rewards? Honestly, mate, nothing even worth discussing. We didn't see this one on the one hour mark. He's actually being used as well. Wait, this card has got four owners. He's being used for one game. He's had a new chem card on him. Backbone. Should I go check just to see if there's any backbone Sergio Roberto's? I don't think I have ever seen that being used before. I mean, I don't use it anyway. One for 8,000 coins. It looks like he's just going to be a standard price then. We take that away. I'll list him up at 7,800 again. That's probably like 500 coins, isn't it, after re tax? Why did he get banned from, like, the, um, the leaderboards? Is he back on the leaderboards yet, or do you not know? That was, like, a really weird scenario, right? So bizarre to me, dude. Alright, again, another one here. It looks like we're only seeing them at 7k, though, so it's probably a good idea to change the max price from 6.8 to 7. So otherwise, I wouldn't have got those last two snipes. And at the end of the day, I'm still probably making, like, 500 coins on each of those snipes. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's still going to be profit. Maybe not 500, but around there. And then, obviously, we do get the chance of seeing the cheaper ones as well.